What's happening, film friends? Dave the Film Junkie here. All right, let's uh, go ahead. I don't, it's not fully in HD. Someone, uh, you know, someone got it from uh, Twitch and then uh, sent it on over to uh, YouTube. So I'm just going to go ahead and uh, react to it and uh, we'll break it down and do all the fun stuff. Hopefully there'll be like a, a much clearer version that shows up either today or, I don't know, sometime this week. It's just weird, though. It's just, it's just weird. Why would they do this on, you know, it just seemed like they jumped the gun. To me, it did. And there goes my computer acting like crap. Sorry for the little, yeah. All right, so here we go. Let's go ahead and make it full screen. All right. Look at that. Oh. <laughs> oh my god. Oh! So yeah, there that is the dark side trailer. Yeah, that's a full on dark side trailer. Holy shit. Jesus. Oh my god, it's just so good. I mean, look at this. This is the concept art. I mean, not the concept, the storyboard. That's the storyboard essentially. He's right there on his fucking throne. Granny goodness, Desaad, right there. Oh, my God. It's so good. It's so damn good. Look at that. How do you not want more of that? Man. Look at that. Yeah, I can only turn it up so much. It's, it's like fully. Oh, no, wait. Duh. There's more. Yeah. Look at that. We got Nightmare Flash in that costume. Of course, we got... <clears throat> Yeah, man, we got uh, Ben Affleck, Batfleck, Nightmare, Batman. I'm like thinking, yeah, I'm like, that had to be a, oh, wait a minute. Okay, okay, okay. So remember, additional photography. This is also additional photography. But remember, Ezra Miller was on the set of what? Uh, Fantastic Beast. So did they just like send him over this? They sent him over the, uh, the, the Nightmare Flash costume and he just put it on. And I don't know, like, did he have facial hair? Did they add that too? They might have added facial hair to his uh, face. Wow. Look at this. Look at this. Jesus Christ. Just ooks ass. Ooks ass. Whooping ass right there. Just swiping. Bam. God. And then there, there's the battle with Ares right there. Jesus Christ. That's going to be amazing. Yeah. There he is. Bam. Look at that. I was knocking Steppenwolf back, right? That's, that had to be a, towards the end. Yeah. Knock, well, maybe not. That could be. That looks like it's the tunnel part. So, boom. And then, of course, another little shot. God, look at that. <laughs> ah, it's so good. So good. And then we got, of course, Nightmare Deathstroke right there. Showing off that, uh, that mohawk. Fuck, man. It's so great. Okay, so wait a minute. Somebody's screaming. What was that? So a lot of people I saw were looking at this shot right here of Superman and comparing it to the end, comparing it to the end of uh, Man of Steel, because, I mean, a lot of people were going like that. This could be uh, used from, um, you know, from Man of Steel footage. I mean, I don't know. I mean, Henry Cavill looks pretty much the same. I mean, the hair looks like how it should look uh, in this scene. So I don't think it is. I think he's just given that same facial expression. I just wonder what exactly he's being taunted. I think he's maybe he's being shown that. Yeah, that uh, his world can be taken away from him. I don't know. But uh, yeah, I think uh, he's just being shown. He's being taunted by the uh, mother box or um, somebody showing him. Um, yeah, showing him bad things that would actually turn him evil. And then uh, in the hand right there. Look at that. Jesus Christ. Oh, man. <laughs> I love that. Look at this right here. Ah, God. Take that, you bitch. So, that's so good. And we got Arthur right here. Uh, this is a, uh, we saw the, um, you know, a, a clip after the Ar Arthur stuff where he slams his, uh, his trident or his quindent, whatever the hell you call it, into um, into the ground, and it causes like uh, some awesomeness, of course, to happen. And then we got the the is that yeah, Barry, yeah, got that right there. And then oh, the world ends. God, so that's that that's that apocalyptic uh, apocalypse. What is it? That, that apocalypse technology 
that uh you know that we saw the other and then of course the uh, famous line from ray porter god it's so good all this is just so beautiful right now Will be. <laughs> chills 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 all the way to the taint my god man that's just so good that is just so good so yeah there you go, man. I'm just like baffled on that one. <laughs> not to not to leave it to dark side to steal Wonder Woman's thunder on International Women's Day. <laughs> oh man, um, but no, I mean the Wonder Woman clip was great too. But I mean, <laughs> it's just you can't help. I mean, that's a lot of new footage, and that's just like a dark side teaser. And it's just like, oh my god, I can't even believe that that that. Whew. Just, just looking at that. I mean, yeah, but that shot of uh, Superman, that yeah, it does look like he's making like that similar uh, expression. So I could see why people are comparing. It just didn't seem like. I mean, unless I, I mean that that'd be a question to ask Snyder later on. Like, is that shot, uh, you know, repurposed from Man of Steel? Did you take that and put it right there? I don't think he did. I don't think he. You know, it's just you know, Cavill just made that same expression when. Um, I mean, obviously, when he yells out uh in man of steel i mean he just basically killed any chance for any kind of uh any more kryptonians coming back or whatever the heck and then in that one he's probably seen some bad stuff like i don't know that's was it the scary idea maybe i don't know but um yeah and then he got oh, the, let's see what else dark side and then the history lesson showing him just uh effing people up pretty good right there and then of course all the nightmare stuff but yeah it's interesting to think that ezra miller right there was on the set of somewhere else. Remember, Snyder even said that he was directing him through Zoom. So he was just, ha, ha. that is pretty, I mean, you look at it and you're like, wait a minute. It's just, it's crazy. It's crazy to think about it. I mean, yeah, he had to have uh, directed him, you know, because he was over what, in London or something like that, Fantastic Beasts. So you had to, they sent him over the cop. I want to know the logistics of that. I should ask uh, more about that because I remember Snyder said that he had to do that. I th I forgot where he said that, but I don't know. It's all just it's all just good stuff. It's all delicious. The Joker card, you see him smiling. God, I can't wait for that scene. I'm telling you, that's where that's where that's where Batman does the f bomb. That's where he's gonna say the f bomb. He is going to say it to Joker, and I'm telling you, um, just because he it warrant Joker warrants that. I mean, if you've seen like the exhibit and you see all the badges that he's collected to have blood all over him and he's killed so many damn cops makes you wonder if one of those cops was also commissioner Gordon where's commissioner Gordon when it, when all this is uh, happening and everything. So I, that's, that's another thing that hopefully will get answered. But, and then it's just like to team, you have to team up with your arch nemesis that had killed your partner and then killed commissioner Gordon. Who's also, you know, a different kind of partner, a father figure, if you will, what where's Alfred too. That's what I'm wondering as well. Who knows? I mean, Alfred might have saw the the business end of um, Deathstroke's sword. I don't know. Who knows? And the, that would make it even <laughs> the fact that he would have to team up with both of these guys that have made his life miserable. I don't know. When we heard we heard about the details that we're supposed to be in Ben Affleck's Batman, which you know, hopefully something will come from that. But anyways, guys, I'm rambling because I'm just mesmerized by uh, by all of that. Anyways, let me know your thoughts about it down below. Um, yeah. What did you think about all that? Hit that like thumbs up, hit that notification bell. So you know when I'm doing this stuff, you know, if you want to become a, uh, a, a film junkie member, hit the join button, do so you get some uh, behind the scenes stuff and, uh, and whatnot. And of course you got the Patreon. If you want to get some early access and uh, other little perks right there, and that always helps out the pirate ship. And then of course merchandise down below in the film junkie closet. Thank you very much for watching. All right. Bye.